Good afternoon, everyone. How are ya? Hello. I'm doing a different type of video today. I'm really getting into uh, journaling, but it's the art journaling, the junk journals, um, the on mass journal. So um, right now I wanted to show you the beginnings of my on mass journal. Um, a mass is basically uh, the definition is in a collection of of things. Um, you can check out a video by Shannon Green. Um, she's the one who inspired me to do my own. I'm using a composition book. She used um, travel uh, Oklahoma travel um, catalog. Um, I didn't want to go that big for right now because I just want to, you know, get my feet wet. So I'm going with a smaller, um, less thick version. Sorry for the glare. Um, so I'm using this lovely composition book. Probably going to end up covering it. I don't know for sure. Maybe I'll just cover this part because, you know, the reason why I bought it is because the covers were like, really fun but anyway um, this washi tape that I have here is just to hold down the ribbons see so they stay out of the way number one and so my four kitty cats will not think that oh this is something they can play with um, let me show you the inside that takes care of that glare uh, this is categories list that Shannon Green had made up and I had downloaded that from one of her videos. I did white out a lot of her categories because they really just didn't appeal to me. Um, but I kept more than I whited out. But uh, you can see that there. I did combine some like with the alphabet. I combined like the U and the V. And the X, Y, Z, the P and the Q, mind your P's and Q's. Um, let me see, added the color black. Because you can see as I'm kind of going around that there's different categories. I used a highlighter and then I also used a marker because I really didn't have a highlighter that matched the one shade. And this basically is a guideline for me because um, she had put tabs on hers. So if you needed to get to a certain page, you could get to it quickly. So up here, up top, these are my alpha tabs. Nothing's been marked yet because this is, I'm just starting this project. Um, so these are all my alphas up here, and then on the side, hold on, on the side, as you can see, I have pink, I have like a teal, stay still, and I have yellow. So the yellow corresponds to the color pages. The pinks are going to be for shapes, uh, circles, squares, stars, things like that. Um, everything else is going to get the uh, categories that are already there are going to get this teal color. Now, with her list, she also has a lot of free pages. There, see, free page. So those, I'm basically leaving bla bl 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 blank. Um, same thing with the ones that I put white out on. And those will be determined later on what I wanted to do with them. Now, I've... What I did with this composition book to get ready for it is I went through every page while they were still single pages and I just scrunched them up. I mean, I just grabbed them and, you know, did this and just scrunched them all up and then smoothed them back out. Then I glued some of the pages together. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them. I glued together. This one is not glued. And then I went through, I tried my hand at doing a little coffee staining. Um, so you can see those stains there. I only did a couple pages because this is all an experiment for me. Um, I also went through with, um, let me see if I can find one, with different ink pads. Here you go. Here's an ink pad that is not showing up too well. Let me see. There you go. There you go. Um, purple ink pad and I just smeared it on there and it kind of um, stuck out more on the crinkles see so I did that and then also on one of the pages I have this old atlas book that I found at the Salvation Army 
And this one is of Europe. Um, so I cut this out. This one has Indenburg. Yeah, Indenburg on there. Um, thought it was kind of cool. It came from the 80s, very early 80s, I believe. So I glued those on there, and this is actually one of my free pages. But as you can see, oh, here's another page where I just put the ink pad on. What else did I experiment with? Oh, I tried acrylic paint, and I just kind of splattered that on there. This is going to be my circles page. So I guess most of the pages, like I said, are blank. I haven't really started. I have been going through and looking at stuff, cutting out stuff in magazines. Um, um, just to get ready to play with this. I did leave the first page blank. This is some paper that I had um, gotten. You know, sometimes you get those craft magazines and they add little goodies, little extra goodies. Well, this was some sheets of paper that wasn't with, really wasn't sure what I was going to do with. Okay, so this is that one. And basically they just match. I cut it up the middle and then I cut it to fit the page. And the other side had this really pretty blue and the leaves. No, I wouldn't use the leaves, but the blue is really pretty. But they came with more than one sheet, so I'll be able to use the blue. Um, so I did that, and I glued those there. And then I'm going to do the same thing here on the back. Last two pages, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to glue these on there just for something different. As you can see, it's the leaves on both sides of that one. And on this side, a um, little bit of fall clip art. Not going to use that either. Okay. Um, and then I already have a plan for the inside cover here. Somebody had gifted, let me take this off. Someone had gifted um, my some things to me and they sent along this cute little tag um, my name is pronounced Gina I know it's spelled differently but um, this is how my mother spelled it um, so I'm going to use that somewhere in these two pages but I also have this envelope here that I got wait a minute wait a minute guys there we go covering up the address um, I've been asking for some catalogs, yep, it's upside down, um, from different places. I'm really interested in going to Niagara Falls once. So the catalog came in, the travel catalog came in this envelope, and of course, we're going to save it. So what I'm going to do is after I do something with this, then I am going to put this down here. I'm going to glue this down here and that'll fold over and then I can use this opening to put stuff in but then what also I'm going to do is with this one I'm going to cut out part of this just on the front part and so it'll be a pocket that I can put other stuff in. Um, how that it's all going to come out not sure yet. And then this, not sure what that's going to be. Maybe it's going to be a little, um, thinking of putting like a definition um, of what this book is, where my um, inspiration came from, and who knows what else. For the tabs, I don't want this to get too long, but for the tabs, what I used was just some colored index cards. So those are my four colors. I used a hole punch. And these are, I'm just keeping them in here. And then I'm basically taking these, sorry guys, and just cutting them in half. See, cutting them in half. And for right now, they're just stapled in there. See? I just stapled them in there. Some of them, like for the alpha ones, they seem to be a little bit more floppier. So I also included some washi tape just to hold them in place for a little bit. But I figure as I start putting things on the pages, this is going to get covered. Okay, on both sides. So it's going to become a non-issue at that time. Uh, so basically right now, this is it. I'm going to keep you updated as I go through my process. I uh, hope you follow along. 
Um, I know everybody does the, you know, like, subscribe, comment thing. Um, like if you like. Subscribe if you like. <laughs> comment below if you like. And I'm going to talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.